Well, I got drunk last night, and I was, I was, I really, I really started bashing on Superman, and uh, and in so doing, inadvertently looking back on it, I just looked like a guerrilla marketing ad for Batman versus Superman, because because I'm really just saying the same things that they're saying in the Superman versus Batman trailer. It's just, it sounds, it's just some guy going like, "He's too powerful. I don't like him." Um, a man shouldn't be a god. Uh, but I, I, I just, I, like, I think, okay, so I've been talking to a lot of Superman fans on Twitter. And, and of course, as, you know, communication leads to understanding and stuff, I, I, any kind of hatred is, is we, we know by now, it's, it's, you know, you just don't know. It's ignorance. You just need to talk to the right people, let the right thoughts seep in. And, you know, like, Superman does seem like, as I've labeled him, a histrionic uh, alien demagogue. Like, he is, a, he is a crybaby pajama man from outer space that, that it seems like enjoying involves prostrating yourself in front of and going like, oh, should Superman have this pillow when he's crying or this pillow? Um, and it's like, what about us? And that's why, why who are you supposed to identify with you, if not Lex Luthor? Didn't you come to some sort of, like, like uh, understanding of Superman, we had that guy up and he explained that it was all the, was, the was, origin was it of it. Oh, that he's was right you? here in the front. Oh, what's your name again? Eric. Eric, it was you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Eric, the Superman fan. Okay, uh, who explained? Yeah, that the that like the Muppets and like Mickey Mouse, the, that that Superman has a has a very inspiring story to its backstory. You know, the, 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 its origin. That the, what was it? Two Jewish brothers. Yeah, completely. Yeah, two sixteen-year-olds. During one during the uh, one was shot to death. Oh. Uh, by by, he was a, uh, burglar, for, oh burglar. Okay, yeah, yeah. so why didn't he create Batman? <laughs> <laughs> he, he wasn't shot by kryptonite. No, was a, uh, the the, the like, well, like I'm mad for that reason. The the, the uh, yeah, two two young Jewish kids. De- and what what year was it? it was like the uh, the. So like 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 America wasn't even not anti-Semitic yet. Like like, like, like America was like, hey, yeah, Jews, they're the worst, right? Um, who's who's got cash for the war? <laughs> Who needs bullets and steel? Um, the uh, the so so they it's a it's a myth of empowerment from from two minds that didn't like you know they felt like they were at the at the bo- that's a, that's very inspiring. But t- t- I'd rather read a comic book called Two Jewish Kids Make a Comic Book. <laughs> like, I, I, uh, yeah, like the comic book that they created is about a a hysterical pajama man. <laughs> Who, in the, in light of all the superheroes that we've created, Iron Man, whose kryptonite is alcoholism, and, and not even because anything bad happened to him, he's just he just loves booze. <laughs> he just loves it, and that's his kryptonite. He's just like, mm, I love it. I love drinking and technology. It's fucking that's great. <laughs> yeah, that, that appeals to you for obvious reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Well, isn't Superman supposed to appeal people to people for obvious reasons? What 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 reason would you have to have Superman appeal to you other than a sense of powerlessness and beta male kind of? I'm sorry, Eric. <laughs> Eric, get, Eric, get back up here. Come on, <laughs> Eric. Uh, Eric. I just said that I was I had turned a corner on this. I'm sorry. Well, his first two villains, though, he fought a, a corrupt landlord who was charging too much rent. He actually <laughs> threw him out a window. Uh, <laughs> and it was 1938 during like Great Depression times. And then the second guy I ever fought was um, this guy was beating his wife, and he jumped in front of him and he was like, "You want to fight somebody like who's stronger than you? you want to feel that, see how that feels?" And he like. All right, high roaded. High roaded. <laughs> Stop all that rape. So, so he's like a champion of the common man. Right? Yeah, so, all right. Uh, in one episode, uh, he, he fought the Federal Reserve and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was he was the first to come down against the uh, the gold standard. Yeah. Well, well, but, but every decade he exists, he becomes what masculinity like the height of masculinity. He fought the KKK. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And right now, the height of masculinity is kind of like challenging your own privilege. Mm. And that's why in the movie he's like, well, should I be doing this? Maybe Batman should be the guy. Like, maybe I should have people that are policing me, like a Justice League. All right. To do. That and sounds good. I'm so in. I'm in. <laughs> so it's I like Tumblr it. as Lex Luthor now telling what to do. I've got a lot of residual 90s Superman hatred that's not really... Have a mullet? Somebody, somebody tweeted very, very appropriately at me, like, oh, Superman hatred. That's so, uh, like, like, lazy Gen X cynicism. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm a product of my generation. The 90s were a, a, a dark time for comic books. And we uh, killed him in the 90s because of it. Yeah, we, and it was lame. Like Christ, it was yeah. silly. Yeah. He came back with long hair. It was silly. And a giant gun, which was awesome. He had a giant gun? Yeah, he, the, the panel says, um, 
you know, they call me a Boy Scout, and Boy Scouts are always prepared. <laughs> 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 he's a what, does he, what does he need a gun? Exactly. Yeah, did <laughs> what did his gun shoot? Kill you like, with... smaller guns. Or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> his, his guns shot his eyeballs, which are also guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, his existence. So his guns shot his existence. <laughs> Um, Eric, did you like the uh, like Christopher Reeves movie? Like the, the, the... so much, yeah, yeah. Christopher was... Reeves is such a great, you know. Now that we've seen, it's, it's it's remarkable how now we see how how great, yeah, you know, and how actor dependent the role of Superman in cinema is. Yeah. Like you really need somebody that can get away with that Boy Scout innocence, but invulnerability like 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 the, the he has to have a sexuality exuding like an attractiveness um from a heteronormative perspective <laughs> um uh the the or he can be attractive to gay people as well uh, what do you call that he's uh, hot he has to be hot um, but like straight guys have to like have to be willing to like bend a knee like, 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 which is so tough. Like, only Chris Pratt has achieved that recently. So, yeah. like, well, he's also a guy who values like writing as being more powerful than like his super strength, which I thought was really cool. Being like a writer nerd, because you, you really Kent. are just trying to like. No, no, no. Superman really loves writing. There was this whole story where he went around saving writers. Well, <laughs> in between saving women from being beaten in the face. Well, his favorite human being is Lois Lane, who's like this person who she topples tyrants with her typewriter right. for alliteration. And yeah, he's like, a, a journalist. You're right, yeah, but yeah. I always thought of that, that he's not really a real journalist. Like I didn't know. I don't know if Clark Kent like ever submitted any good articles to the. <laughs> like, I, I always felt like that was like part of the invasiveness is that he's dwelling among us and he's part of the fourth estate and he's like, like he's there's like in there. He's an awesome. alien. Those glass. He doesn't need those glasses. It's a disguise. He's disguised as a human. He's an alien parasite. A lot of hipster girls are though too. They have <laughs> They had this great thing in the in the late nineties too, where he wrote a novel because he was like, I, I am a I'm not really doing anything. Like Lois is so much better than I am at this. I'm gonna have like he quit the planet and wrote a novel called Under a Yellow Sun and tried to be like the new John Grisham. Wait, Scott Clark Kent did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, the guy who saved Superman, Eric. <laughs> saved him from my wrath. My very marketable rap that is being catered to in theaters Eric, across the nation this summer. Eric, uh, can, can you save the Muppets too? 